we just talk for a sec, please? <coughs> Can we just talk about something? Who are you? Real quick. Ben and Jet right now. Production. Who are you? You're fine. Who do you think it is? Um, Who's the people you don't want in the room? I'm just curious. What? Nothing. It's fucking. Never mind. Um, we need to talk about Mizzy. I don't know, it's just like late, but uh, right now nobody's awake and we can actually talk. Mm. Are you awake, Peyton? Mm -hmm. Can you, like, actually. What's 15 plus 11? It's not hard. It's not hard. It's 26. It's 26. Yeah. You guys right. don't have to get up, but just wake your Just mind. wake up and just listen real quick. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to level with you guys. And I don't know, because this is how production's been feeling lately, and I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Isn't Mizzy kind of a bitch? Like, doesn't she just suck? For real. What do you, what do you guys think? about Mizzy, because we don't really like her that much. We hate her, to be honest with you. Mitch is a strong word, but I do think she is very me, me, me. Well, you should have heard what, I mean, I get the bitch is a strong word, but Ben just went and told her, Ben got good news, he has a movie. I signed, like, a big contract today for my next, like, project, mm -hmm. and Mizzy would just... She basically be... laughed him out of the room. She made it about herself. Because she's the big actor, we wanted to come tell her first. And then yeah. we are telling her Ben has something good going on. She's basically rolling her eyes at us. Oh my god. Yeah. Which is like... I don't know, I just think it's like... And Bing, she's jealous of you. No, I'm so surprised. Like, I liked the girl when she first came in. Like, I thought she was <laughs> like... I didn't know that she had like this... Like, I don't even know if you can call it, like, a narcissistic, like, complex, but she just is, like, she always has to be the fucking center of attention all the fucking time. Like, even today, when we brought Nifty in, and we brought, do you remember when we brought her into bedroom three, and we were just like, hey, meet Nifty, and then Mizzy goes, oh, well, Frank threw all my stuff around the room, and then... Literally, a fucking cameras had to pan to Mizzy for her to have like her little meltdown. It's just bullshit. Like, she's just, always like that. Too. She always has to be like the center of attention. She's mad at you, Binks, because you got to use your phone. Peyton, are mm -hmm. you mad at Binks? Mm -mm. Peyton, I feel like you're asleep. Yeah, what the fuck? Are you... I could have cared less. Binks got her phone. That was a whole bit that we had to do I mean... for Jacqueline. Well, I'm we trying. had to do we that to get her out of there. Yeah, exactly. You guys understand if we didn't s show that monster. But why does Frank have a phone? Cause and why is he going downstairs? Because Frank Cause he's he's my bro working with us. Okay. Like, yeah, he's, he's our bro. He's my boy. Okay. Whatever. That I'm more pissed about than her and her phone. Yeah, but that, we're talking about Mizzy. Yeah. Okay. Who gives a fuck? It's not about Frank. It's about Mizzy having to make every fucking situation about herself. And like never letting anybody fucking have a word edgewise. You know what I mean? And it's it's just like I don't know. She comes off as like this sweet girl, but you can tell beneath the surface that she's just this like selfish fucking uh it's all about me, it's all about me. Life is misery. Life is mid like even think about like how fucking self centered do you have to be to make a whole entire T V series called Life is Mizzy? Like, what if you made a show being so like called paid. Life is Peyton? Life is Life Peyton. Life is Banks. Like, what the fuck is that? That'd be a pretty boring show. Like, I've been working in entertainment for mad long, and, like, I know I'm a good actor and shit, but I would never make a show called Life is fucking... Life is Ben. Because it's just, like... It's just ridiculous. If you're a serious actor, you'd be a part of a story greater than yourself. Like, yeah. the one you literally just fucking signed. Because... Yeah. You, Ben, because the only reason he got the deal is because he pulled off being gay for two weeks, and that like actually impressed people. I know that was probably insensitive. Sorry, Peyton. I get it, but it proved his chops as an actor, and it's legit. Because I'm not like I understand that I'm not the fucking star of the show. Like I'm just like a cog in a greater machine. But Mizzy, she's like I'm the biggest cog. Like I'm not. She didn't say that literally, but she's like 
that's how she thinks, is on the fucking wheel that keeps this machine turning. Mm -hmm. And even just now, we went in and I like, was trying to tell her about it, and she's like, scoff, like she did like one of these, she goes, oh. she, The room is just as dark it. as it is in here, but I could see her eyes rolling. And she starts like talking. fucking like, like chuckling to her, like... <laughs> And I told her straight up, I'm like, have, laughing I'm like, have fun fucking working at Darman or whatever that fucking shit you do is. Like, she does Darman videos, you know what I mean? It's just bullshit. Like, she can't be happy for anyone else. And we get that, like, we're basically concession stand workers who come bring you guys toys and snacks and treats. And we, we basically work at a Walmart. But it's just, like, for one second. For one it, fucking it, second, can we, can Ben, like, like... Can we pretend that Ben doesn't have a blue collar on? He finally gets, like, a white collar opportunity, and then he, she's just getting And she just fucking, like, mangled. She's, like, trying to And she wonders why she's in the fucking litter box, too. I know. She's literally sitting in sand right now. Well, are we, why is, are she, we, are we, why is she in the popular girl room that is full of plushies? We're not going crazy, right? Like, uh, like you guys understand what we're talking no, about. No, right? you're not going crazy. Okay. Peyton, Peyton, what do you think? No, yeah, I mean, we've already all yelled at her and talked about it all the time. Even today, like, remember when, like, okay, I don't want to raise my, but do you remember when, like, you got, like, we were trying the to film. The complaining thing? Yeah, we were trying to film, oh, like, yeah. a good, I like, on about that scene. Too. Her and Bert. Bert. Yeah, exactly. And, like, she's in there and, like, of course she has to fucking make herself the star of the fucking scene. And it's, like, Bert's having a moment. Like, let him have his little moment or whatever. Like, Whatever, it's not about. And then she tried to get. She, she she was like, I want to be a ball brother. I'm like, no. That's yeah. Not, that's <laughs> no. all we have. That is all we fucking have. You're kidding. No, fucking seriously, we're out there doing balls and. Miss, you'll never be a fucking ball brother. Notice how she's the not only one thing. out there while we're fucking trying to do balls. She's the only one out there. We like it when you guys leave the room because it's just let us do our thing. Don't like be an audience and clap and like mock us. Like I, we, I get. I'm doing something humiliating. Okay? That's but we're what, also that's, that's what feeds you guys. Okay, okay but today y'all actually hit a few that I really liked. I did that's, enjoy it. That's fine, but it's okay. still like we're clowns. Like, we get it. We, we're, yeah. we're cool. Me and Ben are cool. Like, we yeah. know that... Like, we really know it looks exactly. silly. We know it's okay. silly on camera. We get it. That's like, okay, we have groceries to buy. We have, like, people to pay. There's, like, more people than y'all see. We have and, like, me and Je even before the season starts, like, we have we fun have together. We have to fund it. Like, we have fun. Like, me and Jet are, like, cool. Like, we are, like, good friends, but at a certain point, we have to make money, you know what I mean? And me and Ben will go to, like, the barcade. Like, we don't just, like, sit at home. Like, we go out. And, like, we, we go drink, out and, like, have drinks and yeah. shit. But then fucking... Go to Maine. We, but, like, when it's Maine? work time, it's work time. And yeah, Mizzy, Mizzy comes in and she's, like, sitting... Even... Okay... And I'm not fucking lying when I say this. We were doing Ball Brothers earlier tonight. We were in the den. And Mizzy fucking sits at the top of the steps so that she's in the shop. Oh my god. That's crazy. Well, yeah. it's not like... It's not that it's not crazy, though. Because Mizzy is, like, a fucking attention-seeking person. Like, she just wants to always be in the fucking... Like, she wants to be seen all the fucking time and it's so exhausting and i'm like i notice it when i'm downstairs like me and jet will be downstairs and we're watching the show and it's always fucking mizzy mizzy like the life is mizzy the show is mizzy it's just so exhausting and even today like she so gets put, she gets put in the fucking cat box and then guess what fucking the symbol comes around and like bert and like everyone's knocking at the fucking locker room like Mizzy, what's going on? Like, what's going? I had to like move symbol and fucking. I had to move symbol and uh, fucking. I forget if it was Bert or whoever, but it was like symbol's like kneeling down trying to fucking talk to her through a door slit, and I'm like, dude, leave Mizzy alone. Like, she doesn't need that much attention. She's a fucking like. I don't know. It's just exhausting. Yeah, I went there to find him because I thought he was raging about his stuff and he was just there. It was you. It was you and Symbol. And yeah. you remember when I went up there and I told you, I was like, don't talk to Mizzy. I said, yeah. go to another room. Don't talk to Mizzy. Well, she told me that when I, like, when she found out about my phone, which I only said helpful things. I was like, yeah, you know, things are going okay. Like, it is a real show, blah, blah, blah. Like, just whatever little thing I could give her. She was like, wait, you got to use your phone. Well, I'm going to make them 
Let I me need my personal call. call. I need my personal. I'm gonna call. make a personal call because that's not okay that you got to do it. And yeah, it's like, fucking stupid. It's like, it's like Mizzy, I just the only shout. reason that we let you do that is so we can get Alex's fat ogre fucking wife out of the house. Like, <laughs> she made she made like an ultimatum. It was she. Alex's wife was like, get Binks out of here. Alex has to go. And so we're like, okay, we'll, we'll just send Binks to the airport, have her take a selfie, and then, boom, we can get Alex's wife out. And now Mizzy is trying to use so that. I thought she was going to drag Alex out, and then fucking, doesn't even matter because Alex is going to walk out the next day anyways. Yeah. I don't know. It's we just don't want like, Alex to go. We, don't want, we didn't want Alex. Because now go. Mizzy is, now she's not 10% of the show, she's fucking 18% of the show, whatever the fucking ratio is. I'd rather have Alex stay than Mizzy. But now she's gonna leave over some middle school shit. Fucking <laughs> yeah. Oh, you touch, dude. It's you're like, raping me. You're raping me. Yeah, it's Jesus retarded, Christ. man. It sucks. It just sucks. And at that, the end of the day, it's Mizzy. It fault. sucks that like I don't know. My like my opinion of Mizzy has just fallen like so. What do you guys think we should do with her? I think maybe, like, if you guys don't want her on the show, like, you could confront her about it and be like, hey, if you don't change your act, you're out of here, and then just, like... But you know what she did today? Even, like, I told her to go to the cat box, and she's like, I have to wash my hair first if you want me to go, and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I'm like, bitch, if you fucking... Like, what, who are you, like, like, you telling me that you have to wash your... You know, it's like, it's like, you're so, like, you're so fucking self It's like a Banks, can you, like, take one for the team and, like, leave the house and take a ride and go on this insane mission and take a selfie at the airport? And you're like, yeah, but I need to, like, do my laundry first. It's just Like, ridiculous. no, take one for the team, it's yo. It's totally take ridiculous. One for the team. And on top of that, oh, shit, and the other thing, she was like, I'm gonna leave the show unless you get me a personal... Makeup yeah, artist, bro. personal I makeup artist. You did not say that. Yeah, so that yeah why, she why would we have a makeup artist for her yes. and not y'all? Dude, okay. she goes. She literally told us, "I need a fucking, I need a stylist." I'm not even gonna fucking start with that. That was insane. That's wild as hell, actually. Um, I also heard that you know when this all started, she like knew more about it. And that well, we took her. Well, she, she we took her. To, okay, here's what happened. We took her to the fucking. She's like the show. She, she realized that the show. She's like the show is live. It's and this is like way before anybody knew. And so we're like, okay, well, we better just tell her that the show. So she doesn't like blow the spot because we have this like whole thing planned. So it's like, okay, would you rather have the grenade go off upstairs or bring her downstairs, detonate exactly. it down there, and then like control the spread of the information and she, and she goes uh, she goes she starts going i swear to god if you boot me i swear to god if you fucking boot me and she's saying all that shit downstairs like and it's just us and she's like she's like making it seem like she's gonna make shit crazy if she if we like boot her so we felt like okay well if we get rid of mizzy like she's, she's like miss hollywood lawyers whatever like we're a small time whatever you know so we kept her we yeah. kept her because that was like Send the fucking out. logical thing to so do what we did with ted we dragged him out of here not for real yeah. we did because ted was like but don't get me started on that shit oh yeah. my god but anyways it's just like ridiculous like the way that she acts is so self-centered and then the whole time after she knew she was like threatening to blow up the spot she was like well you need to treat me a certain way or else i'll tell everyone that it's live yeah what yeah. like what are you talking so about she's just like holds well, that did, how did she want you to treat her like like what did she wants to be treated stylist, like royalty. She wants royalty. to be treated like yeah. fucking royalty is the that's thing. That's kind of wild, actually, because yeah. we don't even like there's you know we all struggle with yeah. things here. So. You guys got more plushies than her. Well, yeah. And also, that's another thing. She's she some type of way. Yeah, whatever. Okay. It's bullshit. Okay, bye. What the fuck? All right. I'm so glad they waited until four in the morning to come express their fucking emotions. Say that, yeah. Me too, sorry. Well, at least now we know how they feel. Is that even true? 
Was that just something that someone would pay for? Mm -hmm. like a confessional or something? I don't know. Okay, do we go to sleep or is something else happening? I'm gonna try to. Uh, okay, good night. <laughs> Wait, so are they, gonna, are they gonna do something about this or do they just want to complain about it? Have they not been saying this the, 20 whole t the 22 days? I mean, I've already complained about it so much. I'm kind of done. I've never about complained that. about it out loud, like, you know, because I just, I always say the same thing. If she's going to be like that, that's going to be her own undoing. Like, it's not my my place to be like, I feel some type of way about it. Because I don't really care. Who are they talking to now? Oh, they're just some doors. Rats, bro. Oh, shut up. Okay, sorry. Okay, no. Did you do something? No, no, fuck no. No, you didn't do anything wrong. Okay, I'm sorry about it earlier tonight. Dude, it's cool. It's cool. We're, not pre we're not mad at you. We okay. actually we're actually it. very happy. Oh. And, okay. um, where's this going? We just want to tell you you've been doing good, and we're very impressed with you standing up for yourself. I think you have embodied the lion, and that's very serious. Like, for real, bro. You're fucking so good at that shit. And the, it's way, the way that, like, the way that Frank came in to, like, mess with you dude i saw the clip of you like pushing frank and like it was literally right there in the corner of that room and you i know you have the cord and i had to take the cord away from you because you know just fucking legal reasons or whatever but the way that like frank was getting up in your face bro and he's like he's like putting his back to you he's like what are you gonna do what are you gonna do and dude you straight up Fuck, dude, you, like, stood up for yourself. You mogged the tank. You mogged his ass, bro. The whole tank. Like, you put his ass in place. You know what I mean? And, uh, I've never seen anything like that, bro. Like, the way that you... You, like... Dude, you threw a fucking punch at him. And you, like, hit him good, too, bro. That shit was cool. That was like, that was legit symbol. That was cool. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm being serious. No, you stood up for yourself in like a really good way. And, um. Yeah, but you pin me down and you told me not to fucking fight. And yeah, but that's just. Yeah, but you can't fight with a broken plate. You can't fight with broken plate. Even, even though you broke the plate, that shit was cool too, bro. Like, also, the, dude, the, you're underestimating how good you are at physical stuff versus people. Just because he's taller than you and you didn't want to put on gloves. Um, dude, when I came up... Dude, I you had beat Bert at arm him. wrestling. Did you? We know everything that happens in the house. Because we watch. We, yeah, we, you're the, you, are, you are the strongest guy in the house. And you proved that tonight. And, and that has been proved way before. Like, just because that guy's big does not mean that he's, like, strong. I just, look, I don't want to like gas you. I'm yeah, talking to I'm talking uh, to you now because thing. it's private and everybody you're the asleep. only one in the room right now. Everybody's asleep. There's not too many times where on a four bedroom room there's only one person. So it's just you and me and Jeff, right? Yeah. We so, just we just we just yeah. want to tell you that um the way that, that you dude when I came up earlier and you had that fucking plate, that broken plate in your hand, you had that glass in your hand. Dude, that shit was odd. Oh, that was crazy, bro. I've never seen anything like that. I'm like, this dude's about to fucking kill this guy. I'm like, this is legit. 
That's what I'm thinking in my head. No, that's not gonna stab him. You know? I know you weren't, bro. I no, know. we know you're an yeah, actor. I know you we know you're. We know you're. I know you weren't. I mean, I'm just like. But yeah. the fact that you like had it in your hand and that—that that was the shot, bro. And I saw the camera pan down to your fucking hand, and I saw the plate in your hand. And in my head, I'm like, that's a fucking good shot. But then my mouth is like, dude, if I don't fucking yell at this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble, so I had yeah. to like blow up at you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's yeah. not like anything personal, that's just what I have to do to like protect my ass, you know what I mean? No, I understand, yeah. But the way that you fucking. Dude, you had that shit like clenched, bro. I'm surprised your fucking hand wasn't bleeding. And you like. You showed your shit tonight, bro. We just wanna let you know we're not mad at you. That's like kind of one of the main reasons we came up here, and then we also wanted to talk about um, where you want to take this lion storyline. Me, I think it's mad serious. Yeah, bro. Like, man, I don't trust nobody at this point. Well, we're trying to talk to you, but well, you're alone. That's the only reason we're up here. So oh my god. god. Yeah, but also we're on this camera shit all the time. My god, that's so funky. Um, where's my bag? Where's my bag? I don't know. We just came in here. Oh man. You just say you fight, you watch everything. Well, my I bag, don't fucking keep trying. I don't want. I don't want. Okay, so I don't well, my bag, like well, my bag's fine. It just has my um, legal documentation in it. It's what I'm. It's fucking worried in the about. house, bro. It's, I know. It, that's it, the only thing I'm worried far. about. I don't care about. I don't give to. I mean, honestly, we'll, I don't care we'll get it, bro. It. We'll get it. Okay. Um, it's my legal documentation. I just want to tell you that you were like a fucking. Dude, you were a boss today, bro. The way that you showed up was like, that's some heavy shit, dude. Yeah, dude, like, think about it like this symbol. You guys bro, you, you fucking... You all the bros and, uh, from the house. Well, how do you I... feel with Alex and Connor gone? That's the thing, now I'm the only dude left in the house. The only fucking house. man left, bro. Yeah, you guys kicked them out. No, I don't have any. We didn't kick them out. They walked. We didn't think they walked. Yeah, that sucks. They both are. I don't know. They're pussies, bro. Dude, yeah, no shit. No, yeah, they're, they're pussies, pussies bro. bro. Pussies, dude. They fucking walk. And he, what happened? When I mean, what this guy's doing is like middle school shit. He's like, <laughs> yeah, he's like doing middle school fucking shit. And, and then they fucking walk. And dude, Alex was just like, just because Connor's got gay porn in his bag, it doesn't even make sense. I don't even. It's retarded. I'm not trying to use offensive language yeah. or anything, but it's just ridiculous. And then, like, okay, let me put it to you like this, okay? Fucking Frank comes in, and he, like, presses Alex for half an hour, for Connor for half an hour, bro. And he's, like, he's not even, like, hitting them, bro. He's just, like, he's just, like, putting his back to them and con and you remember when we handcuffed Connor and Frank mm -hmm. together and Connor broke the cuffs and shit mm -hmm. and he's like walking around like oh my fucking arm like my hand mm -hmm. whatever bro but then fucking Frank comes up to you and what do you do bro you fucking shove him against the window you throw a punch at his ass dude like you're not a put that's a I'm not trying to like talk shit on Alex Alex is a good dude and he like did a lot for the show and he's and like he got yeah. emotional and reactive whereas that fits into like kind of like it's no it's no you came up with this thing like the lion and we feel like that's a relatable thing that people can understand because everyone no matter where you are in the world and that's that's the thing we look everybody toward. has a fucking lion in think think about all. this People yeah, in people in Africa. In life, people wow. in Africa. What are the words they know in English? Obama, Coca Cola. <laughs> no, for real. For, no, that's actually oh, seriously. seriously bro. What are the What are the English words that people know everywhere in the world? Because we're in an English market for this show. Obama, Coca Cola. Those are the two words, right? Lion might be the third. I'm serious. The lion. Everyone in the world knows what a lion is. It's a brave, strong. It's understandable, bro. And you acted like a lion today. And that was like... And you came up with that. That was like... We want this shit to be real. You came up with like lion. I'm going to be the lion of the house. And the cobra is gone. Like, I get people are sad about that, but he left. Do you know what a Chinese finger trap is? Hmm? A Chinese, a Chinese finger, finger trap. trap. 
Mm-mm. It's the shit that you put, you know that thing that... Oh, yeah, 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 try to pull it, yeah, it gets yeah, yeah. tighter, right? Uh, 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 Do you know how you, s- how to, uh, survive Frank? Uh-huh. Get him in a Chinese finger turn? Bro. You do you nothing. Chill. You fucking chill. And the Chinese finger trap comes loose, bro. That's how it works. You know what I mean? So, I'm not, I don't understand. So, why are you telling me, dude? That's just a pretty, that's just No, but we're telling, we're not telling you what to do. We're telling you what Alex and Connor didn't do. They did this when the Chinese finger trap hit. They were, (laughs) and they started freaking out, and the trap got tighter, bro. The trap got tighter. Yeah. And what'd you do? You, like, you didn't fucking yank. Bro, you didn't yank your. He you kind of, he kind of did yank a little bit. Well, you yanked a little bit, but you didn't yank so like. You don't have to yank. You don't have to yank. A lion would probably yank, but at a certain point, a wiser lion, a maybe an older, wiser lion with that already has scars, head of the pack. I mean, you don't need to. I don't. Know. You don't need to call me lion. That's just something they say. It's not like I'm. Oh, you came no, out with you that. are, dude. I'm just gonna keep it a box symbol. You are the lion. You're the last guy in the house. Fucking, you're like the person you're people like look the to man, for guidance. Yeah, but nobody gives two shits about me. Apparently, Frank said nobody loves me in the outside world, and I don't fucking get roses or shit or like. Dude, dude, li- dude. lions don't need plushies, roses, or toys. But you don't need money because I don't get one. I don't give a fuck about that. Why would I like? Why do we fucking care about it? I don't know your 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 production. Dude, we are trying. This isn't just like a show, bro. We're trying to make like a compelling. We're trying to make like a compelling TV show, and if we don't have someone who's willing, doesn't the fact that we're having this conversation, despite the fact that you don't have roses or whatever or this or that, if that was true and that's all we cared about, why would we be talking to you? I understand. I mean, I'm Dude, you think we're gonna fucking like? A little confused. You think well. Bert like the gay fucking skit? Not to be a brute or anything, but like Bert jacks off five times a day. Right? He's moaning Frank's name. He's not the fucking over. man of the show. Are you kidding me? I'm really? not kidding. You was up in the penthouse, uh, jacking off, moaning Frank's name. I swear to God, bro. Dude, that is fucked up. He's not the fucking. We're starting to think he might have some sort of. <laughs> something, <laughs> might be, <laughs> something might be not for real. Oh my god, he's weird. I don't know that you found. We're starting to think he's weird. weird. Yeah, that's kind of the consensus. Where yeah, he's not a fucking symbol, bro. He's not a fucking symbol. Just bro. with great, with great. Um, what's the thing in Spider Man? Oh, with power great comes power comes great responsibility. Great responsibility. <laughs> you stood up for the house. I mean, dude, I couldn't even hold it. Like, I'm trying to be objective as, you know, somebody who has, like, an ounce of control over the narrative of the show. Yeah. I'm trying to be objective, but do you remember when I came up here and Banks and Mizzy were chilling with those fucking prisoners? Mm-hmm. And I did a fake-ass scripted scene where I made them clean because mm-hmm. they felt guilty? Mm-hmm. That was Finish. my, yeah, yeah really my bias sure. bleeding through, which is, quote, wrong. Yeah. But, um... Dude, I saw them betray the team. No, I understand that. That's I saw them I betray the team. And that's not even my yeah. team, but I felt, yeah. for you, I felt betrayed. Because it's like, oh, y'all were just kicking it with the people that... Yeah, so they just get to hang out and party with people. today, bro. Dude, you are defending the pack. Bro. The way that you... St- dude, nobody... Dude, nobody stood up to Frank the way that you did today. Bro, Frank made, Frank made, exactly, bro. Frank (laughs) made two people fucking walk because they're pussies, bro. He made Alex, who's like been here since the very beginning, fucking walk, bro. He made him walk and he made Connor walk. And what it, bro, how many punches did they fucking throw? Fucking zero, bro. Zero. And what did you do when Frank pressed you? What did you do? You shoved Said, his ass. Get the fuck back. Bro, you shoved his ass up against the fucking wall. And you go, you don't fuck with me, bro. And what did I have to do? I had to run up there and pull fucking glass out of your hand. I'd say, don't fucking kill him, bro. You're the fucking man right now, bro. So don't let none of the... All, all we're trying no, to... All we're, sucks because I'm not this person. Frank's not, not gonna be here for the rest. Frank's not gonna be here for the rest of the show, bro. 
fucking idiot. Yeah. You Soon will know when it happens. Soon. It won't be long. It's not long. So Chinese finger trap. Chinese finger trap. Yeah. Think about that. If you're feeling like it's tough, think about the Chinese finger trap. Not you have to do. You're fine. You're fine. Don't worry. We got you. Thank you.